subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Condors are a kind of vulture and the species Californian condor is critically endangered. These birds went extinct in the wild in 1987 but then they were bred in captivity, their numbers have gone up and they have since been reintroduced into the wild in North America including in Mexico. Their numbers rose through captive breeding where females were naturally bred with males because condors reproduce sexually. Turns out, not always. Last week, the California Condor Recovery Program reported that two of their female condors in captivity produced unfertilized eggs, that is, they laid eggs without mating with a male bird, despite having access to fertile males with whom they have mated previously already. The eggs hatched and both chicks survived the birth, both were males. This is the only example we have of asexual reproduction or parthenogenesis occurring when fertile males are present and the females choose not to mate and reproduce anyway in birds. In this video, we'll look at how the researchers determined that the birds reproduced asexually, what the chromosomes of the male chicks indicated, what happened to those male chicks, what other animals reproduce this way, if mammals do, and also a mention of a really famous religious instance of parthenogenesis in humans, which doesn't actually occur biologically. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. Parthenogenesis literally translates to virgin birth and is a natural form of asexual reproduction where eggs or embryos develop without a sperm to fertilize them. This occurs from an unfertilized egg cell found in all females biologically. It also occurs routinely in plants. In plants, the process is called apomixis. Apo meaning away, like apogee, the farthest point from earth, and mixis to mix. Apomictic plants are genetically identical in each generation, and each generation and each plant is thus distinctive from the other lineages of the same plant species. In animals, parthenogenesis is seen commonly in many invertebrates like bees, wasps, ants, tiny worms called nematodes, flatworms, spiders, shrimps, scorpions, snails, and even some kinds of sharks. In vertebrates, it has been seen in some fish, reptiles like the Commodore dragon, and a whole variety of snakes, and even in amphibians like frogs and salamanders. Some frogs can change their sex, which was also a plot point in the movie Jurassic Park, but this is not that. This is just females duplicating their DNA and reproducing with no male involvement. There is no case of parthenogenesis naturally occurring in mammals and definitely not in humans. There have been claims of it in the past, usually associated with ideas around sexual purity. And a famous example is, of course, that of Virgin Mary, who gave birth to Jesus despite being a virgin. But biologically, this is thought to not be possible in humans, even though theoretically, sometimes an embryo can divide without fertilization and eventually end up becoming a kind of ovarian tumor. Additionally, if parthenogenesis occurs in humans, it would be duplication of the female chromosomes. We know that human females have two X chromosomes and males have an X and a Y. It is always the Y chromosome from the father that determines the sex of the offspring. If parthenogenesis occurred in mammals, the offspring would have two X chromosomes only and no Y chromosomes because there is no male involved. So the offspring has to necessarily be genetically female. There have been some cases where the embryo begins dividing by itself without fertilization and is then fertilized by a sperm. There was a famous case of a British boy called F.D. His blood did not contain any male DNA, while his skin did. Looking at his chromosomes, researchers then found that all X chromosomes were identical in his blood cells, which means he got them only from his mother, 
while his skin cells had normal male XY chromosomes. But parthenogenesis has been induced in other mammals including rabbits, mice and monkeys. It typically results in abnormal genetic development. This is because in mammals genes are imprinted which means in an extremely simplified manner there are some genes from the mother only that get activated in the offspring and some from the father only. For example, the male pattern baldness gene gets activated from male genes only. There are also genetic disorders that result from this getting messed up. For example, there is a region in our chromosome where if a gene that is supposed to go there gets deleted, there are genetic defects. If the gene that gets inherited from the father is deleted, it can cause PWS, that is it can result in type 2 diabetes, childhood obesity, infertility and extremely weak muscles. This happens when the father's chromosome is deleted or there are two duplicates of the maternal chromosome. If the maternal chromosome that is supposed to go here is missing or the deletion of this gene is inherited from the mother's side, it causes Angelman syndrome which affects the nervous system causing epilepsy, loss of speech, a permanent smiling expression including a happy personality and an obsession with water. This once again happens if there are two copies of the paternal gene or the maternal gene is deleted. So all in all, parthenogenesis in mammals is very problematic because of our XX and XY chromosomes. But birds and non-mammals are different. Birds, fish, reptiles and some insects use the ZW sex determination system which is the exact opposite of ours. In the system, males have ZZ chromosomes while females have ZW chromosomes. So it is the female that determines the sex. That's why these condors were born male from female mothers despite having no biological father. Californian condors are critically endangered as mentioned before. They were bred in captivity and many of us have seen those cute videos where biologists who feed condor chicks actually put a sock puppet on their hand that looks like the condor mother and hand feed these chicks. Condors shrunk in population in the entire 1900s due to excessive poaching, habitat destruction and also the widespread use of DDT. In 1987, there were only 27 individuals left in the wild in the US. These were all captured and bred in captivity in California. Within four to five years, they started to be reintroduced in the wild. Even though their numbers went up, they are still critically endangered with just a little over 500 or so individuals left in total. The bird is also interestingly the bird with the longest lifespan and can live up to 60 years scavenging on meat and dead animals. Condors start to mate when they're about 6 or 7 years old when they reach sexual maturity. They are also monogamous and they mate for life with the same partner. With the two Californian condors here, both birds had access to their males and were housed with them. Both the females had already previously mated with these males and one of the females in fact produced chicks even after producing this fatherless chick. During a routine genetic analysis of samples from these Californian condors in the San Diego Zoo, researchers discovered that two condor chicks were genetically related to their mothers only or the dams. This was the first known instance of parthenogenesis in the condor, although it has been observed previously in pigeons and chickens before when reproductive females do not have access to fertile males. Primarily, this is the first instance where the females ignored the fertile males that they were housed with and gave birth on their own anyway without mating. Both these females had produced multiple chicks with their males for almost two decades. And these unfertilized chicks actually grew up without defects even though they did eventually die of other reasons. One of the chicks died when he was two after he was reintroduced into the wild and could not eat well. 
the other died when he was eight he was not reintroduced but he was underweight he was also housed with a female but showed no interest in mating or courtship and the chick had been injured in his foot and he had to have a toe or a digit amputated and removed the researchers believe that complications from this amputation is what eventually led to the death of this chick but the discovery of naturally fatherless chicks in the condor population despite the presence of fertile males has large demographic implications in just captivity there were two birds that produced two relatively healthy offspring through parthenogenesis despite having access to fertile males this means that this would be occurring much more frequently in the wild naturally and the bird could potentially be using this for its own evolutionary benefit.